I'll start with 30 seconds because that's <laughs> what the button says. It's going to blow up. Okay, people, this is crazy. I'm wearing a beanie and it's May. It's raining and I'm wearing a beanie and a hoodie and it's May. No, freaking Midwest weather. <sighs> I have arrived at work. Let's do this. Woo. It's raining outside, you see that? Oh my gosh. Just got off work and actually I got off work like 35 minutes ago but um we have a gym at my work so i worked out for a little bit which i haven't done in like a week so i got that done and which luckily i guess that heated me up a little bit so the rain wasn't as cold but it's still really cold outside like it's got to be like 50 degrees and it's may 17th what up oh man i forgot my beanie inside it's on my desk uh no way I'm going back in there to get it and I didn't I have an umbrella but by the time I walked outside I didn't feel like getting out of my backpack so I just went without it which I usually do anyway I most of the time I don't like using umbrellas because it's I don't know oh it's a little rain right I'm not gonna melt I'm not made of sugar but I do use this umbrella because I have a supernatural umbrella. You know, like the TV show, Supernatural. Not like it's supernatural, like it's a, ooh. No, <laughs> it's from the TV show Supernatural, which is like my all time favorite show. But, um, hey, what's that? Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, sweet. I left my beanie inside, but I have another beanie right here. <laughs> Well, of course now I don't really need it. I'm in the car. I just needed it from outside. And this beanie is also a supernatural beanie. Saving people, hunting things, the family business. Yep. I'm kind of a geek for supernatural. Okay, I gotta go get Charlie now. <gasps> There's my little boy. What are you doing? What? Trying to watch cartoons in peace? Is that what you're doing? Baby cam! Baby cam! I gotta do some cleaning up in the kitchen because today is National Cherry Cobbler Day and I gotta make a cherry cobbler. And I've been looking up recipes and I'm trying to find the easiest one that I can make. And so I found one that only has like five ingredients, which we have three of. And Eddie's on his way home from work, so he's going to swing by the store and get me some stuff to make it. And I'm just going to clean while, uh, while I'm waiting for him. And So I've never made a cobbler before because I've hardly ever made anything before. So this one should be interesting. Um, I do love cherries though. I love, well... I love cherry pie and stuff like that. I don't really like eating cherries by themselves, which is weird. It's kind of opposite with the apple pie. I love apples. Didn't really like apple pie. But I love cherry pie, but I don't like cherries. Really. I mean, I don't hate them. I mean, I eat them, but it's not what I prefer. Okay, so once again, you're in the kitchen. Actually, the dining room with Chef Angel. And I'm about to make some cherry cobbler at least attempt it Let's see. we have cherries and sugar and flour and there's other stuff to go with it but i just don't know at the moment i have to look back at the recipe so and there's my lovely assistant what's up <laughs> Okay. Cherries so. and a cup of sugar. You can go ahead and mix those. 
Oh, I need a can yeah. opener. I have yeah. to get a can. What? No, so you can mix them in there. Oh, well, I need a can I, opener. I, I can. Okay. I didn't think about that. Go get me a can opener, slave. Oh. For those That's movie right. buffs, figure out what that came off of. What did you say? Yo, Lord Helmet. Don't give the answer. I don't know what it is off of. No, you've seen it at least twice. Oh, okay, so. Nowhere near as many times as I've seen it. Hey, sugar. So. I'm actually talking about that sugar. Oh, my bad. Actually, that's flour. I'm pointing at this is the sugar. Okay, so nobody won that round. Yeah, joke failed. <laughs> okay, so I put some sugar in here with this and I mix. Mix, 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 mix. Wow, that dissolved really quickly. Ooh, round and round and round we go. She's my cherry pie. I'm sorry. She's my cherry gobbler. <laughs> Very think? close. Very close. What? The cobbler thing? Yes, it was a good, uh, it was one of the lesser known hits that they had. Oh, was it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one hit wonder? Half a hit wonder, actually. <laughs> Only lasted for two months, April and June. So, it calls for a half cup of butter. Which, this whole thing is, is a half cup. That's your, a lot of butter. Your artery's clogging already. I don't know, I don't, it's a lot of butter. So just like cut it into quarters and uh, put it in here and so let it to melt in the microwave, it? yeah. Here, what you do? I, yeah. it's, I can't, I'm one handed here. <laughs> it's not one hand. Um, yeah, it is. One hand. One no, no, hand. not quite. Spirit fingers. What? <laughs> Spirit fingers. Oh, okay. Did you ever watch Bring It On? Uh, seen most of it here and there. I've probably seen it all, but not at one time. It's a good movie. Hello. <laughs> and then he gets distracted by the TV. <laughs> one. Two. two four. There you go. Now, go melt it. Yeah. Well, how long does it take to melt butter? Well, when it turns into a puddle, you're done. Is this microwavable? I mean, this measuring cup. What? I don't know. I've never put I a microwave. I hand you something that I put food in and say put it in the microwave. I don't know everything that's microwave. And but you not. should know I'm not going to try and burn the house down. How long did you say? How long it takes? Could be a couple minutes. I'll start with 30 seconds because that's <laughs> what the button says. It's going to blow up. There's going to be butter everywhere. You ever nuked butter? No. Well, you can also, there's an alternative method you can do. You can take like this container here, put it over a pan, and boil the water, and then that melt it this That sounds old-fashioned. Well, it kind of is, but it's it's also a good way to melt Starburst, too. So you put this over a pan and let the heat melt Why it. Why would you melt Starburst? You mix it with Red Bull. It makes a good glaze for a lemon chicken or ice cream. I don't know about that. Because I haven't made it for you yet. Looks like it's melting to me. Looks like eggs. There you go. See, that wasn't even in there for like a minute. But it still needs to be longer than 30 seconds. Is it hot? Didn't do that. Oh, it's hot. Mmm, butter. Mmm. I hear laughter. Must go see baby. Baby! Hi! What's up? I gotta go back to the kitchen or dining room or whatever. Hey, stop eating that. Mm. That's what the directions said. 
This is going to be the so at this point. weird. This is going to turn out to be, like explode in the oven or something. I don't know. A lot of you are probably watching. I disagree this and like, with this. No, that's not how you make cherry cobbler. But and I'm inclined to agree with those people that say no. This is not how you make cherry cobbler. This is just a recipe I found online. It said easy cherry cobbler. We're we're trying to take the easy way, which may not be the best way, you know. So. Okay. And then. And then. Now I know what movie that's off of. <laughs> Goes in the oven. Should be for, survey says, 45 minutes, 45 to 55. That's like a whole hour. Something like that. I can eat a corn dog in the meantime. Corn dog. 45 minutes. And we'll see just exactly what sort of concoction Is whoever that person was who you found that off of. I don't know. I just said easy cherry pie or cherry cobbler. So oh, it's something, all right. Is that it? I mean, nothing else after it gets baked or anything. Let it cool. Okay. Pretty much it. Because some of the recipes I came across said like after you bake it a little bit, then well, you put something else on it. But I don't know. No. What it said was after you pour the butter in, then pour the batter over it, then pour the cherries over it. In theory, the batter will rise to the top. In theory. I don't know. We shall see. Somebody's ready for bed. Are you ready for bed? Is it bedtime? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hey. Go to sleep. Come on, Batman. <laughs> Come on. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Come on. You're not a ninja. Not yet, anyway. Still have those uh, quiet skills you gotta work on. <laughs> yeah. Such yeah. Snoopy. Loves the Snoopies on the wall. Got one there, and one there. <laughs> okay, here we go. What does it look like? Looks like it needs to go back in the oven. <laughs> For how long? Uh, no, that was 45 minutes. Okay, but it fine. said 45 to 55, didn't it? Yeah, it's like golden brown. It's fine. We gotta let it sit though for a little yeah. bit. Yeah, and it's, uh, since I didn't drain it, it's juicy. Juicy. Alright, so we'll just let that sit. Well, it's definitely... I can see some... Yeah. Probably should have drank it. Oh well. See, that's a lesson learned. This is the first time I've ever done this, so we'll figure it out next time. That doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks like an ice cream scoop situation. Let's go. Well, if we have to drink it, we have to drink it. Point is, we did it. <laughs> yeah, let's get a straw. That'll be fun. <laughs> okay, so I got a piece of cobbler. Um, this is <laughs> what it looks like. I'm not even sure if that's what cobbler's supposed to look like after you cut it. I don't really know what cobbler looks like, but it's kind of soupy. And I don't think that's right. So, I don't know how this is going to taste. I, I think we may have failed on this one dramatically <laughs> compared to what else what else we have made. Um, I think our biggest mistake was not draining the cherries, which in the recipe it said you can or cannot. I mean, it's really up to you. But, uh, so I was like, oh, I don't care. Let's just not drain the cherries because I think it'll be okay. And, uh. I think I was wrong. Here goes. Hopefully I don't, I mean, I don't know about this. It's, <laughs> well, I guess I gotta make sure to get a piece of cherry. Wait, is that, no, I better take a bigger bite just in case I don't like it. Okay.
Holy crap, that's good. That's good. It's good. <laughs> it's really sweet, probably from all that butter. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's actually really good. It's a good thing I don't make this all the time because I probably eat this all the time. Wow. That's really good. I may have to make this again. Not anytime soon, but you know, for like some kind of holiday or something and force everyone else to eat it. <laughs> better than I thought it would be. Mmm. You gotta come try some of this. Wow. Kudos to us for making cobbler and not screwing it up. <laughs> Seriously, come take a bite. Like, right now. The flour, I guess. Wow, it's better than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I know. I was like, holy crap. That's much better than I thought. I know. I wasn't really. I don't know what I expected, but. How's it? Well, I called for two cups of sugar. I mean, I could have stuck my finger in it and sweetened it, but you know. Hey guys. So, it's the end of another day. And as you can see, I'm laying on my bed because I'm ready for bed. So. Tomorrow's national day should, it's kind of lax compared to everything else, so I'm pretty happy about that. So I just, I wanted to ask you guys, um, whoever watches these videos, if you could please share them and, and like and get people to subscribe because um, right now I only have like 15 subscribers or something. I mean, I just started this channel, so I'm not expecting a lot. But, the reason why is because I would like to get a, um, a custom URL on the end of my YouTube channel. Because right now it says like, uh, www.youtube.com slash, and it's got like a bunch of letters and numbers, you know. And so I can't really tell people to type that in. Because it's weird like that. In order to get a custom URL at the end of my thing like to have it say youtube.com slash stages of life I have to have at least 100 subscribers so if you guys watch this video please ask others share it I don't care you know let them know what it's about I understand you know some people don't want to watch somebody's life on camera but if you know someone who's into that kind of thing you know just just let them know and um, I would really appreciate it. And then I can just tell people, hey, go to, you know, youtube.com slash stages of life. If people want to watch, I'll be here. <laughs> so that is it for today's vlog. Wish you could have tasted the cherry cobbler. It was pretty freaking awesome. If I do say so myself, I'm still so surprised it came out like it did. But, uh. All in all, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun doing these national days so far. But I feel like I'm going to get fat doing them too, just because there's a lot of food ones. And it's like, oh my goodness. We still have apple pie from the other day. Like I said, I'm going to bed. Tomorrow's another day. So, see you guys tomorrow. And remember to like this video. Give me a thumbs up or whatever.